Now, welcome to your beautiful home. Hi, this is Jake Bautista and we'd like to welcome you to a brand new Metro Guide Realty House Tour. Now, before we begin for the best quality tours in Metro Manila, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Now, today we are going to be exploring a modern and functional five-bedroom house and lot for sale located here in Ayala, Alabang, Muntinlupa City. I'm excited to tour this home because on top of five rooms, it also has a den and a spacious office room making it a seven bedroom property in terms of the lot and floor area it has a floor area of approximately 675 square meters and a lot area of 555 square meters it has three levels and in terms of the developed area it's almost 900 to a thousand square meters now let's take a quick look at the orientation of the property this house is facing the east primarily east southeast so that's why right now in the afternoon it's quite cool already at the front of the house and it's a great time to begin this video let's go so you have a spacious entry here and on your right side you have a landscape garden leading to the side of the house A relaxing patch of greenery with artificial grass here so it's easy to maintain and you also have a nice touch here of having the adobe facade for the front of the house it blends very well with the white paint and the vertical slats across the facade now on the other side you have a spacious parking area for five vehicles So you, as you can see here, this can have one large van. On this side, you can have two cars. And on the other side, you can easily have another two cars. You have access here towards the service area. And this room over here is the driver's room. This is a unique feature here. It gives it a sort of an industrial feel as well. And it has a high ceiling in terms of the parking area. So the whole space feels very maaliwalas and relaxed. So the adobe design wraps around here, leading to the main entry. Now, welcome to your beautiful home. Welcome to the main living area of this Ayala Alabang home and one of the great surprises of this property is that it is already semi-furnished. You have quality furniture for the entire living area, the dining area, the kitchen space, and the lanai patio space which we will explore later. Now let's take a look and take in this entire living area. You have a high ceiling, large windows up to the second level, you see that there's plenty of space and light throughout the entire space. You have this quality living room set over here so that you can entertain your guests. You already have a split type inverter air conditioning unit on two sides of the living space, making it very cool. 
and you have a view of your second floor hallway, which we will go to later. So what I love about this living area is how wide this area is upon entering the house. It's so open and you have a clear path heading towards your formal dining space and additional living area. But before we explore that, let's take a look on this side towards the first room in the house, which is the den room. Let's go. There. So this room is facing the east side of the property. It's a corner room, very well lit. And I'd like to point out you have a high ceiling. In terms of the windows that they used, these are wood grained PVC quality windows, very sturdy and also complement well with the color of the paint around the room. In addition, you have easy to maintain window blinds here. These are roller blinds. So they're very minimalist looking as well and easy in terms of maintenance instead of having the big curtains that you have to constantly wash also. This has less uh, hassle. It also has a split type air conditioning unit already. So you can maximize this as an additional TV room or a guest room or you can even make this a ground floor home office if you'd like. Now, coming out here, this room has a bath area. So if you want to maximize that room as a bedroom, you can use this as a full bath space. But this room also serves as the powder room of the house. So you have color branded fixtures and you have hands growing for the faucet. To give you an orientation also, upon entering the house, you have an elevator leading all the way to the third floor. We aren't gonna show it yet, but it's directly to the left upon entering the house because right now the elevator is just about to be installed, which is actually a good idea as well because you don't want it to be installed so early and then the house hasn't been sold yet and people are already using it so that it can be maximized really for the homeowner, okay? But it's going to be installed very soon as well. And this is a storage room. And then you have your staircase leading to the second floor, which we'll head on there later. But let's take a look at the additional living space that we have here. I love how open the entire space feels. And when you roll this sliding door here, you have an additional then living space. So this is a more open area. And what I love about it is you have a sliding door on every single side of the room. So this is a great hub for the family. I can imagine having a large Living room set again here, making this a gathering area. And you can make this even a breakfast nook. And you have a split type air conditioning unit as well. And when you slide open this door here, let's take a quick look. Look at how spacious your side garden is. So there's so much room here. This is great, especially if you have pets or large dogs. You can even put some uh, wicker seats and tables here and make this an additional entertainment area. Heading back in, from this space, it opens up towards your formal dining room.
The formal dining space is like the sister or brother room of the additional living space because it also once again has sliding doors on all four sides of the property. So you see how easy it is to navigate throughout the house. You can see every part of the house throughout these two rooms. Fantastic gathering spaces. I love this light fixture here. Very modern, but at the same time, the wood element makes it feel very warm and homey. And you have a table here for eight people. Even if you want to keep this or replace this, the space can potentially accommodate even a larger table if you'd like. So there's another split type air conditioning unit for this room. And now we have a sliding door opening up to your main kitchen. It's great having these divisions because you can choose to leave them all open, making the entire area feel so open. But if you have, for example, heavy cooking, or you have different get-togethers or conversations that you want to keep private, you can close them off. For example, you have different family members having different gatherings. So this main kitchen area has this island countertop. It already has an Elba range hood and cooktop here. It's a great showcase kitchen, a great entertainment area. You have these tools already over here. So you can imagine having a late night snack right here and plenty of storage space. On the other side, this is where you can have your refrigerator. Okay. And what I love about this room is you also have access to the pool area. We'll take a look at that later. But for now, let's see and explore this additional auxiliary space. From the main kitchen, you have an additional auxiliary kitchen space. You can have a small stove here, an electric stove. And on the other side, you have access towards a very well organized service area. I like how open the entire area feels. And it's great that there's a big gap and distance between the house itself and the perimeter wall. Lots of space to maneuver. You can maximize the space as an area to hang clothes. Very heavy duty double sink here that's tiled already. And you have your water tank, pressure tank, and then access towards the pool area. And on the other side, you have access towards the front of the house. And here you have your driver's room with the bathroom. So we won't go into there right now because there are some materials inside, but it's spacious enough with a bed and it has additional storage cabinets as well. Okay, let's head back in. Now from the service area, we're back here at the auxiliary kitchen space, and this room is the maid's room. So the maid's room is spacious enough to have a double bunk bed, and it also has its own bathroom. We're not gonna go in there because there are some materials inside again, but it's spacious enough for two people. Now on this other side, you have an additional storage space. You also have the electrical breakers here. This can be maximized as a pantry room as well. Let's head on in. Okay. Now from this vantage point, you can see what I was talking about earlier about how you can convert the entire space into such an open area. Opening up the sliding doors essentially combines your kitchen, your dining, and your living space. And even if you open this up, it connects you all the way to your garden area. And now, it's time to explore one of the best parts of the house, which is your open patio and swimming pool area. Now look at your patio area. You have a ceiling fan here, 
It's almost completely covered, very relaxing. You already have this outdoor furniture included with the property. In case you're hearing some construction sounds, you have a nearby construction project, but that's also going to be finishing soon. That's just a sign that there's so much development going on around here in Ayala, Alabang. There are so many developments also around the entire Muntinlupa area, which is increasing the value of living here in this area. It's very pet friendly, family friendly, and there's so much upside for Ayala, Alabang. Now, you can imagine just relaxing here with your family and on the other side, you have your swimming pool area. So taking a look here, I like that they have some steps here, making it very friendly, especially for kids. The height is just about four to four and a half feet. And you have the wooden tiles here, which aren't uh, very slippery. So that's good because of the texture. That's very important, especially if you have some family running around here. And it gives off a very relaxing ambiance, having that wood tone here with all these plants throughout the perimeter of the property. And keeping with the open design of the house, you can open this up towards your dining space so you can have a pool view while you're having breakfast or dinner. And you can view every part of the house even from the kitchen space. And if you have a family get together and you need to bring out food from here, you have a barbecue, you can easily bring it out here from the kitchen space. In terms of functionality, you have the swimming pool pump area over here and you have an outdoor shower space on this side. So of course, still wrapped. Okay. And then you have fast access towards the service area here on the other side. Okay, let's head back in. So what's nice is this area is also quite cool in the mornings because you have the morning sun on the other side. And once it gets to the late afternoon, this is such a relaxing area because you have the sunset coming down here as well. Now from the formal dining space, you can open up the sliding door, heading back out to your living area. I can't get over how wide this hallway space is. And now it's time to head on over towards the second level where we have four rooms. Let's go. Now welcome to the second level. First observations, the entire flooring of the second level has this earth-toned wood design tiling, which is very easy to maintain, very easy to clean. And you have once again a wide hallway, which is a reflection of the hallway that you have right underneath here beside the living area. And I love this open area, giving you a terrace view of your living space. So all the occupants of the rooms here at the second level, when they come out in the morning or heading up at night, you have this view of your living area. And let's head on over here towards your primary bedroom or master bedroom. So here's your master bedroom. Wow, it's very spacious. There's so much room here. This could have effectively been used as two rooms. You could have had an anteroom 
potentially because of the size but of course if you appreciate having really a lot of space for storage also if you want to have some additional furniture or even a study area there's more than enough room here you see that you have this massive bed all of this is already included by the way and you have once again the blinds throughout the four large windows and you have a large Mitsubishi split type air conditioning unit here already okay lots of space so much space that you have an additional you can have a large living room set right here in the middle okay but if you found this to be spacious wait until you take a look at your walk-in closet area and bath space What did I tell you? It is a room in itself. You have such a well-organized walk-in closet space. You have a countertop here so that you can organize your materials or other personal belongings. You have additional storage here so that this area is maximized. You have a large dresser space. You have a split-type air conditioning unit to cool the entire area. well-organized modular cabinetry all throughout the space okay so there's so much room here if you want you can in the future have a sliding door here if you want to have separation between your walk-in closet and bath area your bath area has a large dual vanity sink space you once again have a cola branded sink and you have Hans Grohe for the faucets and you have a cola alcove bathtub here tiling all throughout the entire space the texture is a great complement with the entire minimalist look of your walk-in closet area you have a ur urinal you have your water closet and you have a private bath space here on the other side. I'm walking quickly through the bath space so you see the size. You have a Grohe branded uh, shower head and you have a recessed area here for toiletries. What I like about this design is someone can be taking a bath here while at the same time there's privacy while there's someone here in the walk-in closet space. So small things like that are important in terms of the design. And now let's head back up. Now this has just been the second room in the house. We have third, fourth, and fifth rooms lined right up for you. Here's the third bedroom. I like the size of this room and this large window for one side very well lit and you see that this is very easy in terms of aligning furniture or organizing furniture because of the shape and you once again have a split type panasonic air conditioning unit here and it has its own bathroom so there's a different design here So you have tiling all the way to the ceiling. There's a window here. So very well ventilated for the bath area. And then you have an additional walk-in closet space already. I'll open this up. There. Very well organized. And I like the texture that they used here. Uh, it feels almost like uh, 
it's not paint. It's like a textured material. It feels very elegant also and quite durable. So they even made sure to have these uh, dampener so that the door doesn't slam. And of course, this is where you have your elevator that's going to be installed so you have fast access. And that makes the house also future-proof. And here you have your fourth room. I really love this room because of how bright it is. Look, they made sure to have almost floor-to-ceiling windows here. That's why you have such a nice facade also because this is facing the front of the house. From this angle, you can see the size of the room. This is excellent for uh, even making this a study area if you want to have a lot of light and uh, uh, make this a home office space. This would be a fantastic area and you have once again a Panasonic split type air conditioning unit. And then you once again have your bath area. There's a different design motif for this bath area so that every bath area has a different feel and even character depending on who's going to be staying there. And now we're taking a look at our fifth room here. So here you have your fifth room. It's also facing the front of the house. It's also a corner room. I like how bright and open the entire area is. Having these large windows feels very relaxing and on an added note, this street is almost uh, tree-lined. So once you look out, there's so much greenery that you see out in the street. This is a very quiet and private area also here in the village. It already has a Panasonic split-type air conditioning unit. And here you have the bath area. On the other side, you have a walk-in closet space. Okay. So just for the first and second levels, you already have five rooms. That's already a complete house. But we're not done yet. We still have two rooms and a storage room at the third floor. Let's go. And now we're here at the third level. And let's take a look here at an auxiliary room. This is a storage room. So there's a window for ventilation. There's even an additional exhaust fan here. You have breakers. It's up to you how you wanna maximize this room, but this is a great storage area. This essentially is the eighth room in the property. But let's take a look now at the next room. So here we have a multi-purpose room. You can make this an office area. Look at how high this space is. You know, you can even see already the main fill in best city skyscrapers from here. So there's a great view. And once again, a lot of greenery at the front of the house and throughout the street. Look at this space. You can make this a great study area, a home office space, or even a bedroom. But there's no bath area here. So this can be a great entertainment area also. It's up to you how you want to maximize it. But this gives you multiple amenity areas for the entire property. And here we have the seventh room. Almost 
almost every room in this house has a closet area already built in. So just to wrap up, you have five bedrooms, four bedrooms, a master bedroom, and then you have a dense space in the ground floor, and then you have a spacious entertainment area at the third level, making it seven rooms. If you add the storage room, that even makes it eight rooms. So this is such a great value for money property, especially if you factor in that it's in Ayala, Alabang. Now, in terms of the size, every room is spacious, very well lit, quality windows here. You have a fantastic view, very quiet neighborhood. And for this room, you have a split type air conditioning unit already included again. And the bath area. And that wraps up our tour. If you want to know more about this property or visit it in person, just click the description below where you can get in touch with us through our email and number shown there. You can also send us a message through Instagram and Facebook. And if you have a property that you'd like to feature through our channel, you can send us an email at metroguidealty at gmail.com. Once again, my name is Jake Bautista. Thank you for watching. And we look forward to bringing you clarity, quality, and convenience in finding a great Metro Manila home for you and your family. Contact us today in the email and number shown here to schedule a property viewing. You can also click the description below for the property details. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you and your family a great Metro Manila home.